What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are doing the ninth installment of Retro Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at my 1 to 600 scale Schaubach Delta Airlines Lockheed L1011 TriStar. So this is a bit of a unique model in my collection, and this one doesn't really fall under like my true collection since it is a different scale than what I usually collect, but since I got 1 to 200 and 1 to 72 scale models, that's kind of a bit hard for me to say uh, realistically now. So I've had this model for quite a few years, actually. I'll go ahead and go into the story as to how I got this. So back in 2019, I made a trip out to New York and other areas across the Northeastern United States. Such a fantastic trip. I went to New York, uh, went to Manhattan, stayed at the TWA Hotel for a couple of days, and eventually I went up to other areas around the Northeast to check out some other cool places. Um, did, I did stay a night or two in Boston as well, which was nice, and I flew out of there to get back home to uh, Sioux Falls. I had to fly through uh, Minneapolis to get um, onto that flight back home. But overall, it was a fantastic trip. And while we were kind of going around places, um, we went to this one store, and I noticed this little model in one of the sections, and I was tempted to get it, and I think it was like $20, if I remember correctly, so why not? It was a Delta L1011, and I couldn't resist. But this is kind of back before my real love for retro aviation really took off. So go ahead and move the model out of the way here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the box, which again, it is very small. And as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you here. Just for reference, that is my hand, and then that's the box. So it barely takes up my entire hand, and I can easily put it in one hand, no problem. Uh, hold it with one hand, rather. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the box itself. So we got the Schabach logo up there, 1 to 600 TriStar L1011, image of the plane, and then the Delta Airlines titles there. So this is the um, about 2000s or so titles. On top there, you got the same information, also the barcode, and then the part number, which is 909 slash 21, made in Germany. And then on here, you've got the TriStar L1011, Delta Airlines, and then some other stuff there on the side, pretty much the same. And then uh, both sides are the same. Uh, both front and back are the same. Just everything is flipped around. And actually, if I remember correctly, I think it was all just like a, it's like a little plastic bay. Yeah, that's basically, that's all in there. That's what uh, protects the model since this is not very well detailed or the model itself isn't since it is one of 600 scale let's go ahead and bring it into the picture here and i have to say this is actually really cool um not the most detailed model not the most beautiful looking model out there but again it's one of 600 scale and this is also a very old model so i did a little bit of digging as to how many shabak delta l1011s were made there are actually various versions made over the years and uh, based on photos that I found online, the one that I have at least is the sixth version or the last version that was produced around 2006 or so. Um, according to the Diecast Model Aircraft database, it says um, discontinued year was in 2006. So it was made at least before then, on or before 2006, as it has the uh, all-white fuselage, all-white wings and landing gear. And it's also known as the mold type 2, so not 100% sure what that means since I'm not very familiar with Schabach models. Um, but there you go. So this is the underneath of it. Got the little Schabach logo and 909 there, which is part of the part number there. A little stand hole as well. Not sure what the Schabach stands would look like. And then just some other like regulatory information. But overall, it is a very bare bones model. So not a whole lot of details, but uh, let's go ahead and do a more general review like I do with my other models. So up at the front, you got the nose and the cockpit windows and the Delta widget, the full Delta titles, and then the Delta logo there on the tail, a little American flag. No aircraft registrations are printed on these Schaubach models as far as I'm aware, or at least on this particular unit. And then the right side is about the same, nothing too unusual here. Not even the APU detail is printed on, which is quite fascinating to me. And uh, basically no details on the engines, although you can kind of see the fan blades. I'll go and zoom in on that just a little bit and kind of see what I'm talking about there. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the fan blade details, at least on the wing engines. And I think even on the mounted, the tail mounted engine, yeah, there is some detail there with the fan blades, which is pretty cool. But that's about all the minor details that you're really going to find on these uh, Schabach models because, again, these were made a long time ago. Um, predominantly, they existed around the 80s and 90s and even into the 2000s, but um, as a larger 1 to 400 scale, 1 to 500 scale, and eventually 1 to 200 scale took over, uh, the Schabach models fell out of popularity, and um, as far as I know, the brand has since died off. But I still think that there is a decent base for 1 to 600 scale stuff, as I've seen a couple of posts online about uh, Schabach models and 1 to 600 airports. So kind of interesting to look into this stuff as it's not really something that I'm familiar with. And 
As much as I love to collect 1 to 600, it's not really something that I'm as much interested into as with 1 to 400, since that's what I predominantly collect. But it is kind of nice to have a little piece of aviation collectible history, um, if you will. So it's kind of a short video since there's a whole lot for me to talk about with this particular model, but basically um, I've already covered, you know, how I got it, why I got it, and just kind of the general details and assessment on this overall solid model, at least for, you know, 1 to 600 skill standards and shot box standards in general. So I'll go ahead and do another episode of Retro Reviews later this month. I'll go ahead and bring on a 1 to 400 scale model in order to kind of keep things going and give a little more information about these Retro Reviews series and all that cool stuff. So with that being said, thanks for watching this short little video and I'll catch you in the next one.